Hey guys, it is Patrick and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am making a Starbucks drink that is probably in my top five favorite all time drinks. It's that good. It's not on the permanent menu. It's typically on the fall menu, but allegedly this year they are removing it from the menu. So that gives us even more of a reason to learn how to make this at home. If Starbucks is taking it away from us, we need it to reclaim that recipe and make it at home. Yeah. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can make the iced salted caramel mocha. Yes. It's so good. It has espresso, milk, mocha sauce, caramel, and like a sugary salty topping that is just so good. There's so much going on, but it all works so well together. And it's just, oh, I don't know who at corporate headquarters thought, yes, let's remove this drink from the menu. Um, what? Why? So you actually can kind of order this drink year round. All it is is like an iced mocha with toffee nut syrup and caramel drizzle. But the thing that makes this drink is the salty topping and they only have that during the fall. Um, make it make sense? I have no clue. I don't even know why it's only considered a fall drink. In my opinion, this should be a year round thing, but I don't make those decisions. So I knew as soon as I heard this news, which by the way, this news is alleged. Um, I do not need to get sued. I saw a few articles on it, so I feel a little bit confident in saying this, but allegedly, 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 I do not have time to go to court. As soon as I saw that, I knew, I knew, 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 I had to learn how to make this at home, and you guys, it is so easy. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner, but you can do this. If it does end up being removed from the menu, you have nothing to worry about. I'm confident that you can make this right at home. Okay, so the first element of this drink that we are going to get started with is actually the last thing that we're gonna put on it, and that is the sugary, salty topping that goes on top of this drink. That is the key element to just mm, making this drink so good. Okay, so these are the two ingredients that you're going to need to make this topping at home. All you're going to need is turbinado sugar. This sugar is so, so good. They use this on a ton of different things. It's like crystally, it's coarse, it's crunchy. A lot of restaurants and like bakeries that top like muffins with these. It's just the best ever. So this is going to give it a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of crunch. Since this is a salty topping, we are going to add some sea salt. Now I looked at the Starbucks website and they actually use smoked sea salt, but I could not find that at my store. So I'm just going with regular, but if you have a gourmet, sea salt from, um, where is sea salt made? Uh, the sea. Please feel free to use that. Use whatever you have, it will work. And I am just going to eyeball this. I will leave like exact measurements down below, but this is not a super precise, oh no. But this is not a super precise thing, so you do not need to be crazy about measurements. I'm just going to eyeball it, so just a little bit of sugar, oh my gosh. And it looks just like the topping at Starbucks. Of course it does, because it's the same ingredient. And then I'll just sprinkle in a little bit of salt. Yes. And then I will just mix this together until it is all combined. So we're gonna get a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of saltiness. It's just a really good contrast. And is there a better thing than like salted caramel? Oh my gosh. I don't want caramel if it doesn't have salt in it. That's just the level I'm at right now. So yes, this is all you're gonna need for the topping. So I will just set this aside until we need to use it. And I'm going to be making a venti iced drink. So that is is what I'm doing, but if you want a bigger drink or if you even want to make this hot, you can completely do that. Do whatever you want. I'm not the boss of you. Okay, so the first two ingredients that we're going to put into our cup is toffee nut syrup and dark chocolate sauce. Now, I just picked up a bottle of toffee nut syrup on Amazon. You can probably find it in a few different stores, but just buying it online is a lot easier. And this has notes of buttery, rich toffee and bold macadamia nut. So that is what toffee nut is it is so so good i don't know why this works so well specifically in this drink but it does and if you buy a giant bottle of this you can make a ton of drinks at home save you so much money and you don't have to leave your house which i love that and then the second thing that we're going to need is dark chocolate sauce at starbucks they call this mocha sauce but whatever chocolate sauce that you can find will work be sure i wouldn't necessarily get like 
like chocolate syrup that you put on like ice cream. I think chocolate sauce is just a level above and it's a lot closer to the flavor of the ones that they have at Starbucks, but do whatever you want. Okay, so for venti drinks at Starbucks, we use six pumps of syrup and that translates to roughly three tablespoons of syrup or like one and a half fluid ounces, but you can add more or less if you want it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I love coffee nuts. Okay, three ounces and we're just gonna pour it right into the cup. Perfect. And then we're literally going to add the same amount of dark chocolate sauce to this. So it's gonna be three tablespoons or one and a half fluid ounces. Oh my gosh, this is what makes this drink so good. So chocolatey. This is what makes it a mocha. Oh my gosh, just something about the toffee nut and the chocolate. It just works. I don't know what the science is behind it, but I don't really care. Okay, so we have both of our flavor ingredients in this cup, and now the next thing we're going to do is make our espresso. Okay, so I do have an espresso maker, so I'm going to be using ground espresso in this drink, and for lattes and mochas like this, we do use shots of espresso in it, but if you don't have an espresso maker, you can kind of replicate this with making your coffee really, really strong, and that will kind of give you a vibe, but I personally just love espresso. I think it has amazing flavor. And then I just use this little tamper tool to press it down to make sure flavor is extra rich and just amazing. Okay, so I have my water here and I'm just going to pour this into the top compartment of the espresso maker. Perfect. And my espresso maker is from Mr. Coffee. And now I can just screw the lid back on. Yes. Now I can just screw my ground espresso right in here and that will catch all of the espresso. Now I can just turn it on and pretty soon this will start making espresso. Okay, so my espresso is brewed and now I'm just going to measure out three ounces of it. In a venti, we use three shots of espresso. That's exactly what I'm gonna do here. And now I can just pour this right on top of the chocolate sauce and the toffee nut syrup. And then just to make sure that all of the ingredients are kind of mixed well, I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a um, swirl, if you will. Yes, yes, yes. And pouring the hot espresso just kind of breaks down that chocolate sauce to make it, just to make it easier to work with. So that is why we add it in like that. And if you just order a mocha right off the menu at Starbucks, they're going to give you 2% milk. So that's what I'm going to do here. But milk is just one of those things where you can use whatever kind of milk you want. Almonds, oats, do whatever. And I just poured milk to the third line on the cup. That is where we stop. But if you don't have a Starbucks cup, I will leave like exact measurements down below. And I'm just going to give this one last mix before we add the ice just to make sure everything is blended it together. And now I'm just going to fill the rest of the cup with ice. Yes. Okay, so all of my ice is in this cup. Now we can just top it with all of the toppings. That's my favorite part and we are almost done. Okay, so probably my favorite part of all Starbucks drinks is whipped cream. So I'm just going to top this with a ton of whipped cream. And now it is time for the caramel and the sea salt topping. Oh my gosh. Okay, so just drizzle it with caramel. Yes, yes. And just sprinkle the top with the sugar and salt mixture. Okay, guys, we are done making our drink. This looks so so, so good. Oh my gosh, I think I forgot how much I love this drink so much. And now I know I can make it from the comfort of my home all year round. So I love that. Let's see how it tastes. Hold up. Um, so I cannot believe I cracked this recipe. <laughs> This is just 10 levels above just a regular old mocha. The toffee nut syrup just kind of gives it that nutty vibe. The chocolate sauce just makes it so, so rich. And it's the caramel and the salt. It is the salt for me. It is the salt. Okay, so if you are as sad as, okay, so if you were as sad as me when you found out that this is going to be possibly removed from the fall menu, now I can give you guys a little bit of comfort knowing that you can make this right at home. I will have the full ingredients and measurements listed down below. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future amazing videos. I am going to go finish this off, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.